Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video which is going to be my current everyday makeup routine. So this is the routine that I've been doing as of lately for the spring summertime. I picked up a few new products so I'm really excited to chat with you guys about those. One in specific being the new Too Faced Born This Way concealer which is not even out yet. So how the heck did I get my hands on that? I don't really know. But yeah, I just think that this look is really nice for the spring and the summertime. So I wanted to share it with you guys and hopefully you enjoy it. Also, if you are new to this channel and this is the first video that you are seeing from me, I would love it if you guys would subscribe. So I'm going to put the little button right over here. All you need to do is click on it and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video, which is every Thursday. So that would make me super, super happy, guys. I would just love it. So without further ado, I'm going to get into the makeup look, the chatty get ready with me. And yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so first things first, got to clip up this hair. I'm sorry, it does not look the cutest, but it is the most realistic, so I don't get extremely frustrated while doing my makeup. So what I've been using to kind of like give my skin some moisture is the Mario Badescu Skin Care Facial Spray with Aloe Herbs and Rose Water. I've been loving this stuff. It's amazing, so I just usually do too many spritzes on my face probably, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do to stay hydrated. All right, so for primer today, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the hydrating one. I got it for free at Generation Beauty, so that was a huge score. I'm just gonna take like a tiny, tiny bit of it because it is a very liquidy primer. And I'm just gonna put that all over my face just so I can stay hydrated throughout the day and so that my foundation could go bleh. And so that my foundation can go on a bit smoother. Okay, so usually after I put on primer and like my facial mist, I try to let that set in for like a minute at least. I'm very impatient, so I'm gonna sit here and try to let that soak in for as long as I possibly can. For foundation today, I'm going to be using a combination of my Naked Skin by Urban Decay and my True Match Lumi by L'Oreal, just because the Naked Skin is a slightly bit darker than my Lumi foundation, and I find that overall they both kind of give like a similar coverage, very, very light coverage, very natural, and that's what I like, especially for the spring summer. For those of you wondering, my Naked Skin one is in the shade 3.5, and my Lumi one is in the shade 24, I believe, or N12. And one too. So the combination of these two I find is like a good match for how I would be right now. Like I'm, I kind of tanned recently, but I'm not like dark or anything like that by any means. So I'm going to go ahead and use my faux beauty blender that I talk about so much from Shoppers Drug Mart. So I'm just going to shake this up, put about a pump on straight onto the blender and then a pump right onto the I just said the same thing twice. A pump of each on straight onto the blender and then I'm just gonna go ahead and dot it around my face. I'm looking a little pale, so I'm gonna go in with just the Naked Skin Urban Decay foundation this time. I thought that my tan kind of faded over the past couple days because it got cold again here in Canada. I don't know what's going on, but I'm just gonna go ahead with the Naked Skin and put that where I didn't get full. So now that the foundation is blended in, I'm gonna go ahead with concealer. And I completely forgot about this concealer, to be honest. It's the one that I got at H&M. It's just this little cream uh, cream concealer trio, and I kind of rediscovered it recently. And I've been obsessed with it all over again. So I'm gonna use this like medium shade to just go right into the inner corners. I find it does a really good job at covering dark circles and it's super super creamy and really easy to blend but it doesn't crease so that's the key next step is pretty exciting because i actually got my hands on the new Too faced born this way concealer which isn't even out yet so i'm going to give you guys like a little demonstration of how it applies so i've had this concealer for about a month now mine is in the shade light and to be completely honest with you guys i've been using it for a month as i've said and i really don't like the way it applies directly under my eyes like here in the corners because i find that it creases like super easily no matter how much you set it with powder it just kind of creases up maybe it's because it's really creamy i know that there's coconut oil in here so that just didn't work that well for me but i do actually really like it to put just kind of below my eyes to highlight with so just like usually i just do something like that it is kind of also hard to get a lot of product on the applicator which is kind of annoying but usually i'll just use this stuff to highlight 
where I want to highlight my face and I feel like it does a decent job at that. It's really easy to blend out once again because I said it's really creamy. But yeah, that's my overall verdict for the Born This Way concealer. I still think the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer is a lot better. So now I'm just going in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette that I have pretty much abused, especially this yellow shade in the middle. So I'm going to be taking the left shade because this is what I've had to resort to now that the yellow one's pretty much gone. And I'm just going to be setting that under eye concealer just a little bit. It's not something that really needs a lot of setting. And then to give a little bit of extra glow for the summertime, I'm going to be going in with the Laura Mercier in Highlight 01. And this is her, sorry, I just dipped my finger in that, the Matte, Matte Radiance Baked Powder. And I just find that this gives a little bit of highlight, but also a nice amount of like, I don't know, it's like, Good to set your foundation and, and concealer with, but it's not going to make you too glowy, but it's also going to make sure everything stays in place, if that makes any sense. But yeah, it's just this really nice, like, champagne-y color. So I'm just going to go kind of sweep that under my eyes up to my um, high points of my cheek, down the bridge of my nose to set that concealer, and a little bit on my cupid's bow. Alright, so the foundation concealer is finally finished. But now I'm going to go back with my Shade and Light palette, take the bronzer shade farthest to the left here, and just do a slight contour. And I'm going to be using this angled blush type of brush, and use that shade just to kind of carve out my cheekbones just a little. We don't want to go too crazy. So I'm also just going to take that up onto my temples and just kind of make sure everything is blended into my hairline. Also just going to do like a little swipe on each side of my nose. Don't really contour my nose, but I just find this creates like a nice shadow. Alright, so for blush today, I'm going to be using a favorite of mine, and it's the Becca Beach Tint Shimmer Souffle in Guava slash Moonstone. And this is a really pretty cream blush. I never hear people talking about these here on YouTube, so I feel like they're super underrated. I recommend this one. It's really, really nice for the summer. I'm just going in with a little blush brush because it's good to get in here. It's a really small pot and I'm going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. All right, and just to go over that blush because I feel like it's not super intense, I just want to kind of like emphasize it a little bit more. So I'm going into my Becca Jaclyn Hill Holiday Trio palette here and I'm taking the blush topper shade on the far right. Just like a dab of this because it is super pigmented. So I'm just going to tap it off and just go over that. It creates a really nice bronzy look. Okay, so next up I'm going to go in with my bronzer just to warm up my face. And this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. You guys are probably tired of seeing me use this, but honestly, it does the job. Once this once this is sadly run out, I'll go and get another one. But for now, I still have a decent amount of product left. So I'm just going to take this on a big fluffy brush and apply it just in the places where I would usually get tanned. I'm going to bring this down my neck as well. Just to make sure everything is balanced. Probably going to stain my choker while in the process of doing that. Sometimes I will go in with my Matte Radiance Baked Powder by Laura Mercier in Bronze 03 and just kind of dust it across like the front of my face where you would really get like a natural fresh tan. So you know what, I'm just going to do it for the sake of the video. I'm just going to take it and go like that. Just gives you some more radiance and some more bronziness and that's what I love. Alright, so I'm going to be taking this Lexi 522 Tapered Highlighting Brush, which I also got at Generation Beauty. I'm so glad I did because I've been absolutely obsessed with it. And I'm going to go in and grab Champagne Pop because this is obviously the best highlighter ever. And I'm going to go ahead and put that on the high points of my cheek just to give myself some glow, girl. And if you do not own this highlighter, I highly recommend going and grabbing it while it's back in stock at Sephora because... She just came out with a palette, and she just came out with a liquid version of this stuff, and the full size thingy is back, so I think I'm going to have to grab one of those just in case I run out of this one day, because I probably will. I'm obsessed with it. So now that like all my face products are done, I'm going to go back with my Mario Badescu Skin Spray stuff and just kind of like set everything in place. Alright, so next I'm going to move on to eyeshadow, because I've actually been experimenting a little more with eyeshadow lately. So, I've come up with my go-to glowy look, and the first step in achieving this go-to glowy look is to take your bronzer, or like a very neutral brown shade, kind of like a tan brown shade, and just go ahead and apply that all throughout your crease. So I'm just taking my bronzer that I used earlier, the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and I am just using a blending brush and dragging that throughout my crease. 
Alright, so next with a more fluffy brush, I'm going to go in with my Becca Jaclyn Hill Highlighter in Champagne Pop. This color is so versatile. I love it on my cheeks and I also love it on my eyelids. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my lid. If you're going for a more fancy kind of going out look, I would recommend adding an even more bronzy shade on top of Champagne Pop. So today I'm going to go in with my Carly Bible BH Cosmetics palette. This palette has a lot of really nice neutrally colors, but it also has four highlighters here at the bottom. So what I've been doing recently is taking this one that's third from the right, and it's like this really nice goldish kind of with a bronzy hint highlighter, and on a smaller eye shader brush, I'm just going to wet my brush with the Mario Badescu spray and grab some of this and put it kind of more on the center of the lid. And you guys will see, it looks pretty poppin'. Just to finish things off with the eyelids, I'm gonna take Pearl again, just on my finger here, and just kind of plop it in the middle, in the center of my eyelid, just to give it that kind of dimension. I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I've been using the Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. This used to be an all-time favorite of mine, but I got a free sample of it, and I was like, okay, I'm obsessed with it again. It's kind of expensive though, so I try not to buy it. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my top lashes and my bottom lashes and then add some liner, some nude liner. This is my Rimmel liner that I've like used every single day for the past couple years. Add that to my waterline and then that's going to be it for the eyes, guys. Super simple. Before lips, I'm quickly going to fill in my brows with the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal. I really don't have any like tricks for eyebrows. I just kind of fill them in to the best of my abilities. My brows are already kind of full, so I try not to do that much i feel like less is more when it comes to eyebrows so unfortunately i'm going to do this off camera because i kind of don't succeed when i do it on camera so now for lips i'm going to be using my two new nude sticks which are the new gel color lip and cheek balms i have one in pulse and i have one in haven so i'm going to go ahead and mix these together on my lips they give your lips a really nice like jelly look which i feel like is really cool for the summertime That is Pulse on its own, just in case you guys were wondering. But just because I want to lighten things up today, I'm going to add Haven over top. So that's the two of them together. I just feel like it complements a goldish kind of glowy look like this really, really nicely. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. This is pretty much my go-to everyday makeup look that I've been wearing as of recently. Let me know down below, guys, if you want to see more videos like this. Comment, give me lots of video suggestions because I would love to hear what you guys want to see from me. And don't forget to subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta!